Good evening everybody, it's Avril from Mitty Tick here. I hope you are all well and you have had a good start to your week. I've had a great start and this week, if you've been watching some of my little lives today in one of my posts, it's work life week, isn't it? All about that balance, how much work we do, how much of our life we have and you know they need to balance really well together so that we can have a happy and healthy life. Mm -hmm. So I did a couple of lives today just to show you what it was like behind the scenes of Mitchy Titch where I was going to do sessions and what work when I'm doing at when I'm at home and of course this is one of the things I do when I'm at home, isn't it? I read beautiful bedtime stories for you. And I love doing it. And I've been doing it since March. And I don't know when I'll stop because I really enjoy it. And I hope you do too. <sighs> Lots of children tell me they enjoy it. So I really hope that we can keep reading for fun, for pleasure, for bedtime as long as we can. So, the story I'm reading this evening is The Leaf Thief. And you know, it's such a good story about autumn. And it's quite funny too. So, I hope you're all snuggled down. I hope you have your pyjamas on. Mm -hmm. Good. So, shall we begin? Yes, let's get going on The Leaf Thief by Alice Hemming and the illustrations, what are they? Well done, the pictures inside are by Nicholas Slater. So are we ready? Off we go. The leaf thief. So of course, there's lots and lots of leaves in this book. And it's all about squirrel. Here he is. I think he's looking quite worried in that picture, do you? I think he is. He must be worried about the leaf thief. So, here we go. What a wonderful time of year. I am snug in my nest with a belly full of hazelnuts and the sun is shining through my leafy canopy. Such lovely colours. Red gold, orange, red, gold, orange, red, gold. Hang on a minute. One of my leaves is, I'll just show you that one. See, he's lazing on a branch, pointing out all the colours of the leaves. One of my leaves is not under here. Bird! He's shouting his friend. <laughs> you ready to find out what happened? What is the matter? Someone stole my leaf. Now, can I just pop back a page? You see birds? Little house there. When squirrel looks inside, and Bird asks him what is wrong. What a beautiful little paddy has. Look at that. <laughs> what a lovely little house. Your leaf. Yes, one of my leaves is missing. My leaf looked a lot like that one. That one, Mouse has got. That is not your leaf, Squirrel, said Bird. But how can you be sure? Mouse, mouse, did you steal my leaf? No, this is my boat. Can you see what Mouse is doing? He's lazing on a little pond in a leaf, like a boat. See, Squirrel, it is perfectly normal to lose a leaf or two at this time of year, okay? Okay, thanks, Bird. See you tomorrow. The next morning, 
Oh no, this is bad. Bird. What is the matter this time? More leaves have been stolen. Excuse me, woodpecker. Woodpecker, are those my leaves? Uh, no, they are my leaves, squirrel. I spend ages collecting them. Oh, they are beautiful colours though, aren't they? one is taking your leaves squirrel this happened last year remember mm, maybe why don't you go back to your nest and try to relax okay thanks bird bird sounds like a good friend to squirrel doesn't he try to relax breathe in breathe out just relax is trying really hard look is even oh, he's watching me on YouTube doing my yoga poses <laughs> it doesn't seem to be working for squirrel though the following morning oh, this is a disaster bird bird where are you bird I'm here squirrel hang on a minute are you the leaf thief? No, squirrel, I am not the leaf thief. I will show you the leaf thief. Look, poor bird was blamed for being a leaf thief just because there's lots of leaves around this little bird house. Where are they? Because I've got a few things I'd like to say to that leaf thief, said squirrel. Look around you. The leaf thief is everywhere. It shakes the trees and rustles the leaves. It even takes people's hats. Do you see the leaf thief squirrel? Oh, look. And can you hear my little doggy? <laughs> can you see? Have you guessed who the leaf thief is? Hello, mister. It's okay. The only thief is the wind of course this happens every year in the autumn every year the leaves fade and the wind blows them away they'll grow back again in the spring now i'm going home please don't disturb me again says bird <laughs> it was just the wind the leaves fade and the wind blows them away of course no leaf thief at all. Silly me. I'm going to sleep well tonight. <gasps> I hope so do you. The next morning. Bird! Someone has stolen the grass. <laughs> I told you it had a funny ending, didn't I? <laughs> Poor bird. So, the real leaf thief was the wind. So, nobody's really trying to steal the leaves. But there is a little bit more to it than that. The wind can only blow the leaves away when the trees have started to shed their leaves. This happens in the autumn when the temperature drops, making the change from summer through to winter. Trees look very pretty in the autumn, don't they? Before the leaves fall, they change colours. It's like magic. They're beautiful. They turn from green to all sorts of colours. Red, gold and orange, just like Squirrel said. When they turn brown, though, the leaves are dead and that is when they fall off the trees. But not all trees shed their leaves, do they? Only deciduous trees do. Evergreen leaves keep their leaves just like Christmas trees. Now, a Christmas tree wouldn't be a Christmas tree without leaves, would it? <laughs> Autumn happens at different times in different parts of the world. So, in the Northern Hemisphere where we are, autumn starts in September. But in the Southern Hemisphere, at the bottom half of the world, autumn starts in March. Oh, isn't that weird? <laughs> so, 
So autumn isn't just about falling leaves. Other changes happen too. The daylight hours get shorter and shorter, don't they? Do you notice when you wake up in the morning, it's a bit darker and a bit darker. And when you come home from school, then it goes darker earlier. So whereas you may have played out in the garden or gone to the park after school, that all gets a bit difficult, doesn't it? Because it starts getting quite dark quite early. Now, some things like butterflies and birds and other insects sometimes migrate to other parts of the world where it's warmer. And other animals like hedgehogs and bears hibernate. And that begins in autumn and goes all the way through winter to spring. Would you like to hibernate? <laughs> Squirrels don't hibernate though. They just store up lots and lots and lots of nuts for the winter so they have lots to eat. So that when the snow comes and they can't find the nuts, they've got them all stored away in their little house in the trees. You see? So that is a beautiful story all about autumn. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed it. I really did. So I will see you all on Wednesday, okay? And I'm going to continue through the week just to tell you all about our working life and behind the scenes at Mitchy Titch. So watch out for my little lives tomorrow, won't you? Okay, everybody, snuggle on down, take care, have a lovely night's sleep. And I will see you all on Wednesday, as usual. <sighs> Love you all to bits. Night, night, and sleep tight.